Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back, it's Zach. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over my morning skincare routine for spring. Just an FYI, you don't have to necessarily change your routine because it's springtime now. A lot of times my routine doesn't change that drastically season to season, but there are some minute differences and I'm always testing out products for you guys. So that's why my routine is changing a little bit. Also, if you live in a climate that really varies between seasons, you may wanna change your skincare to get the best looking and feeling skin possible. But if you're somewhere that the climate doesn't really change that drastically, you don't even have to change your skincare routine. All right, so without me rambling any further, let's jump into it. In the morning, I always start out with washing my face. I typically shower in the mornings, and so in the morning when I'm in the shower, I use this Zapsit Acne Wash Cleanser. This is a 2% salicylic acid face wash. Salicylic acid is great for getting down into the pore, helping clear it out. It's good for oily skin as well. And it can also just help with acne. This has been really great for me. I am switching over to this for the spring because this uh, is expiring in a few months. And uh, I really do love this product. But I will tell you that now that I'm using this face wash instead of the L'Oreal, which does have exfoliating ingredients in it as well, I now have to use an exfoliant once or twice a week because this doesn't give that full exfoliation. But this is great. This product also is fragrance free and really there's nothing super, there's nothing that's irritating in it, but if you have very dry skin, it might be a little bit drying. After that, I go in with two serums, which is a little bit excessive, but <laughs> it's my life. So I really have been liking using this Alpha Arbutin 2% plus hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. This is great for brightening up the skin. This is good for acne scars, dark spots, things like that. It's just great. So I just put a little bit on my face and then I just blend that in. Feels really nice and the hyaluronic acid that's in here helps hold on to the water uh, from when I get out of the shower and just keep me hydrated. So again, when you get out of the shower or when you finish washing your face, you know, pat your skin a little bit, but leave it still damp. Leave some moisture, some water on the skin and go in with something that has hyaluronic acid to absorb all that water. Over top of that, I go in with the Q10 from the Inky List. I like this better in the summer, spring, like warmer months when it's more hot and humid outside because the Q10 from Eucerin is great, but it's a cream and it's better for dry skin. And so when I'm a little bit more greasy, a little bit more shiny. I don't need that type of a thick moisturizer. So this is great for oily skin people, but unfortunately you don't really get much. I need one like every month, which is crazy. So I'm gonna go in with some of that. I'm almost out of this one. It comes out a little bit yellow, which is just how Q10 looks like. And I just go ahead and apply that onto the skin. You only, you don't need to go in with two serums, to be honest, I just personally am. And some mornings I don't use the Q10 because I am running out and they don't sell it in the store in Sephora near me. So that's that. Once I go in with my serums, I then go straight in with my sunscreen in the spring. And that's because my skin is pretty moisturized. I'm in a very warm climate, like, Today it's 77 degrees, so I really don't need a moisturizer. My skin's not dry or anything like that. The most important thing is the sunscreen. Today's UV index is literally a 10 out of 10. It doesn't get any higher than it is today where I am. So it is very important to have on your sunscreen. Even if you're not going outside that much, it's so important. Right now I'm filming in front of windows in front of me. There's windows behind me. You know, you're always being exposed to light. Even if you think, you know, oh, I'm not at the beach, I'm not at the pool, like it doesn't really matter. You're still getting sun damage. So just put on your sunscreen. And the sunscreens that I'm using have hydrating ingredients in them. That's why I don't need a moisturizer at this time. But if you do have dry skin, you may need a moisturizer as well. On days that I am feeling a little bit more dry, I am just using my body moisturizer on my face because I love it and it works great. So it's the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I do have a blog post up here on my blog, so check down in my bio. I will have my website linked down there where I will post uh, skincare reviews in, in like a blog post style. So check out that if you'd like, but I feel like I don't need much of the body moisturizer today, so I'm just gonna go with my sunscreen. 
Two that I've been reaching for a lot is my favorite sunscreen ever, the Hadalabo UV White Gel. This is great. This is about $20 on Stylevana, and I already have a backup. <laughs> and then the other one that I really love that's more easily accessible is this Walgreens Sensitive Skin SPF 50. It's identical to the CVS Health SPF 50 Clear Zinc Lotion. They both have the same active ingredients, octocrylene and zinc oxide. So it's a combination sunscreen, so you're not gonna get much of a white cast, but it gives really good protection. And it's got some ingredients that I really like in it. Like I said, it is a little bit hydrating. It does have dimethicone to hold on to all those serums. It's got aloe vera, it's got beeswax, uh, it's got castor oil. So it's got some things in there that I really like. And then I like that it is fragrance-free and pretty affordable. I think this is like $6, $5.99 or something. Um, and you get three fluid ounces. So I really like this face or body doesn't matter. I already put some on like an hour ago. Very important note, if you are gonna be outside, it's important to reapply your sunscreen every two hours. If you're not gonna be going outside, it's still important to reapply, because like I said, you're getting sun exposure through windows and things like that in your car. So it's still very important to reapply, but you don't have to be as strict and do it every two hours. I always say every three hours is good as long as you have you know, you put on a proper amount of sunscreen. So as you can see, I take it little by little to make sure that I'm getting everywhere on my face because I don't want to have any skip areas. And areas that stick out the most on pretty much everybody's face is their nose, their forehead, and the tops of their cheekbones. That's where you're going to burn first because it's it's protruding out. It's what the sun is, is hitting first. Whereas like right underneath your chin, the sun isn't directly hitting there. So I always really, really try to ensure that I'm getting these, these areas covered. Because this is a zinc oxide sunscreen, it has zinc oxide in it, I like to use small amounts and use layers instead of one big glob because when I do one big application, I end up with some white cast and just doesn't look that great. So by kind of layering it and slowing the process, I really avoid that clumping. And don't forget right in between the eyebrows, so important. All right, that's my morning skincare routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below, what do you do for your morning skincare routine? Are you wearing sunscreen every day? You better be. And please hit that subscribe button so that you're subscribed to my channel. Once I reach 1,000 subscribers, I'm doing a massive giveaway, so you don't wanna miss out on that. And as always, I appreciate your time watching my video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.